is things that do good for us or things that make us happy. We love money or we love our friends. Ultimately, as we are accused of in the Quran, we love this world just because of what it does for us, how it makes us feel. Yet the truest love is not the love where you are receiving something, but the love where you are giving something. Think about your mothers. Think about Allah. That's the truest love. We say we are lovers of Amir al-Mu'mineen. What is it exactly that we are giving to him? He is the one who in the Quran is described as giving away his ring while in Ruku. We are the ones. I am the one who when a poor man comes to me, I turn away haughtily. He is the one who we know in the middle of the battle of Sifin stops to pray. And when asked why we're in battle, he says, but why are we fighting? Yet I am the one who will allow my meetings to drag on and on and on without considering the time of prayer. He is the one when he was young, took the position in the bed of the Prophet to allow the Prophet to make his way to Medina as an act of privilege. And if my Imam appears soon, am I going to be ready to make that ultimate sacrifice without thinking about my work and my family and my children and my wife and my parents? Let me ask you a question. Who of you, on the day of judgment, standing under that hot sun, when we see Amir al-Mu'mineen pointing out who his Shias are, and we raise our hands towards him, is confident that he will not turn away disappointed. Who am I? Who am I to say that I love Amir al-Mu'minin? Who am I that dares come here and stand and talk of the strength in the Prophet's right hand? How can one as insignificant as me dare to describe the strength of the Vali within sin's dark shadow? Where comes my right to talk of him who was born this night. This night. This night that gave the day its light. This night that gave the blind their sight. This night that moved us from wrong to right. And gave the lowest the highest height. And made the weak win their fight. And left shaitan screaming with fright. This night. For in this night... In the Lord's own house, he gave rise to the one who would fulfill his vows. For had he not declared the defeat of lies, on the Kaaba's floor, a baby boy opens his eyes. From his mother's arms, his hands outstretched, his first destination, the prophet's chest, where the Lord who commands by saying, Be! Commanded he be named Ali. Ali. A name never heard before in these lands, but will echo forever across Arabia's sands. Many would try to deface it with lies and shouts, but Allah's light cannot be covered with empty mouths. Ali, brought up under Muhammad's care, whose prophethood as a boy he would declare quiet dignity in the company of cackling men. Allah sealed his position there and then. Ali, who when those cackles became threats, lay in the prophet's bed yearning for death, 
Three Fatimas were veiled by the arc of his blade, Quraysh's deadly introduction to him when the first hijrah was made. Ali, whose sweet blade got to know many more, at least one had been kissed from behind every Meccan door. On the canvas of Badr and Khandak and Hunayn, enemy blood was the ink for paintings of their pain. Ali, the prophet has said he is like no other. As Harun was to Musa, he is my brother. I am the city of knowledge and he is the gate. Have I asked for anything but love for my Ahlul Bayt? Ali, the only worthy of Fatima's hand. No more perfect a union in all of God's land. Our greatest blessing from the Lady of Light, 11 shining beacons on the Sirat that is right. Ali, Muhammad held his hand high for all to see. Whoever follows him is one who follows me. But envy and greed turned hearts into stone. The prophet's silent head in his lap. Ali sat alone. Ali, 25 years with a bone in his throat and a stone in his eye. His wife's broken rib made even him cry. And, to, and when to him the caliphate was offered with pleas, but for duty appealed less than a goat's sneeze. Ali, now caliph, now Islam will blossom and grow. Justice will stand, spirituality will flow. Alas, shaitan still has plans he has sired. Muslim fought Muslim until Kufa was tired. Ali, to face him directly none would dare. Lost with his Lord in the morning's prayer. From a poison sword that death he once yearned. By the Lord of the Kaaba my victory is earned. Can enough ever be said of Ali? Will the world ever have enough poetry? The subtle words of his prayers freeze the most imprisoned soul. The sword of his eloquence cuts the veil hiding our goal. My words are a failure. My tongue stumbles in vain. This heart that cannot express itself beats in pain. My love for Ali, can I have anything greater? But Ali is just a creation. So what about the creator? Sallallahu alayhi wa Muhammad.